All right, guys. So history is repeating right now for Bitcoin. And that is exactly what I want to talk about for today's video. So today, yes, I want to talk about why history is repeating itself for Bitcoin right now. And I do want to give you guys a little update. What is happening with Bitcoin right now? And of course, the entire crypto market because today, okay, is looking much, much better than where it was for the past two days right so for the past few days okay bitcoin has not really been moving it's been you know consolidating at about 60 to 61 thousand dollars but today okay bitcoin is actually slightly bouncing higher so bitcoin right now guys okay 62.1 thousand dollars okay so you know bitcoin is now back at 62k which is you know great to see and yeah, Bitcoin today is slightly up, okay, at least over 1%. So Bitcoin is looking pretty good today. Not too bad, okay, Yashin's clearly see it is slowly recovering back up to the upside, right? So, you know, Bitcoin today is looking pretty good. Ethereum is still holding strong at $2,400, okay, Ethereum is still slightly bouncing a bit higher, um, today than where it was uh, for the past few days. Same with Solana, okay, $143. And Chainlink is now back at $11, right? So a lot of alts, okay, are in fact moving, including Bitcoin. So today, um, the market uh, is looking a bit more better than where it was for the past few days. Overall, the market today is up 1.6%, almost 2%, okay? Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both up, okay, up. Over one percent, one point five percent for both of them. Um, same with BNB. Okay, Solana's up over three percent. Uh, Tonecoin one percent. Cardano one percent. Avalanche looking pretty good today. Okay, up over four percent. Shiba Inu continuing to pump. Okay, Shiba Inu right now is up over five percent today. Chainlink is up three percent, looking amazing right now for Chainlink. And yeah, fair for a fair few alts are in fact bouncing right. Yasin clearly see render up over five percent. So, fair few alts are in fact pumping. Look at Dog With Hat, okay, this meme coin, okay, up over 12%, over 10%. So, it seems like a fair few alts for the past 24 hours are bouncing higher than, you know, where they were for the past few days, which is always great to see. Let's see what Casper, okay, Casper is actually down, okay, today, 1.2% Casper, um, you know, hasn't really been looking too good. Right. Great time to buy some cash if you guys haven't already yet. Okay, and you know, that's with a lot of these old coins because a lot of these old coins are still dirt cheap. I want you guys to understand that right when an old season is obviously right around the corner. So, if you guys simply want to make money in this next upcoming run, you better take action right now. Okay, get in, get in the game with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and also, you know, these are the old coins, right? So, we still have some time, you know, to buy these low prices. Okay, now Michael Saylor will probably become the richest man on earth by the year 2030 because of Bitcoin. We know how bullish Michael Saylor is for Bitcoin. He's, you know, obviously a Bitcoin maxi, right? I'm pretty sure he does have other investments like Ethereum, right? But his main investments is obviously Bitcoin. I don't know about that. It could just be Bitcoin. I really don't know, right? But we know, guys, okay, Marco strategy. Okay, Marco Saylor is obviously the CEO of Marco Strategy. Okay, and Marco Strategy, they have in fact been buying a whole bunch of Bitcoin, right? Ever since they got started back in August of 2020, right? End of 2020 when they started to buy into Bitcoin, right? And they haven't stopped since, right? They've just been simply DCAing into Bitcoin ever since then. And they have accumulated over 250,000 Bitcoins. Right, let's be exact, right? 252,220 Bitcoins. Okay, and this was the last update, right? September 20th, 2024. Okay, so Marco Strategy, they own almost 300,000 Bitcoins, which is insane. Okay, um, not as much as BlackRock, though. BlackRock, they own like almost 400,000 Bitcoins, but this is obviously a astonishing amount, right? This is amazing. Okay. Um, and you have to clearly see, right, Marco Saylor's net worth as of right now is $4.5 billion as of right now for this year in 2024, okay? And I really do believe, okay, that Marco Saylor will be much, much more richer, 
okay, more wealthier. Okay, like he's already a billionaire, right? That's you know already very, very wealthy, obviously, right? But Mark Seller could potentially become one of the most richest people on earth. I really do see his net worth rising to, you know, in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Okay, just like, you know, for example, Jeff Bezos, uh, Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk's net worth is like almost 300 billion. I really do believe Marcus Seller's uh, net worth can be up there, you know, in the future, hundreds of billions of dollars because of Bitcoin, because of the amounts of Bitcoins that he has obviously accumulated right for the past you know four uh over four years so we know guys bitcoin is a digital asset that will be worth okay millions of dollars one day millions not just one million millions of dollars so if you really think about it right eventually they will own okay more than 252,000 uh bitcoins in the future right it's going to be like i don't know 400,000 maybe even higher than that right so the amount of bitcoins that they hold now and bitcoin as a digital asset like i said that's going to be worth you know millions of dollars just think about that guys right it's going to put michael seller's net worth much higher okay so just a little fun fact okay just a little fun fact guys that michael seller will potentially become one of the most wealthiest people on earth on planet earth in the future Okay, and this is why, guys, us retail investors, we should be accumulating into Bitcoin, right? Treat Bitcoin, right, long term. Invest into Bitcoin long term. Okay, treat it like it's your own savings account. You don't, you don't want to, you know, save your money in the bank. You want to save it in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation. It has store of value. It's a great long term investment. Okay, it really, really is. Now, I want to show you guys this real quick this is actually very, very interesting bitcoin is now the sixth top monetary asset in the world okay very very cool very very bullish right now for bitcoin number six guys on top is gold right um and i told you guys many times you know in the future gold um you know bitcoin will replace gold easily in the future right so i really do believe okay the market cap of gold okay um will be you know lower than bitcoin right bitcoin's market cap will be much higher than gold in the future very very soon guys i want to say less than 10 years from now okay so that's not very, very long but it's just very very interesting to see that bitcoin is number six okay on the top monetary asset in the world very very interesting right now let's get into these charts starting with this one i want to talk about this real quick so it says here <clears throat> back in october 2023 bitcoin dropped seven percent in the first week now in october 2024 bitcoin dumped 6.5 percent almost seven percent in the first four days it's no different than last year history is repeating so you guys just clearly see okay last year 2023 right we actually saw Bitcoin not really moving. It was actually down like 7% last year, right? In the month of October, okay, in 2023. You actually clearly see that. And then afterwards, it did eventually have a rise up to the upside, right? You actually clearly see that. It pumped pretty decently. Like if you guys remember, Bitcoin was up almost 30% in that month, last year in 2023 for October. Now this time around, we know Bitcoin is obviously dropping. You actually clearly see right a couple of days ago it did in fact drop you know it wasn't a great start for this month of october for this year um you know not a great start but understand guys this is completely normal you know this is obviously not the first time that we have seen this happen it happened last year in 2023 right like i told you guys many many times we are still early into this month right we are only five days into this month coming up to a week we still have pretty much over three weeks left as of right now over three weeks left just over three weeks left into this month we still have a very very long way to go before october ends i still believe okay october is still on track pump tober is still on track october this month will be absolutely amazing guys i really do believe in the next upcoming few weeks will be amazing will be epic for bitcoin and crypto right so get ready guys for a massive pump right and i also want to show you guys this very, very similar right if bitcoin history is repeating october is expected to start slowly but will end with a huge pump 
right? So once again, okay, Yash is clear in 2023. We did in fact see a dump, consolidation, and then another dump, and then Bitcoin eventually pumped, right? A pretty decent pump up to the upside. Just last year in 2023, I had a huge pump towards the end of that month of October. Same thing is gonna happen for this year, October, right now, right? So we had a dump, okay? Just know that, okay? Recently, we just had a dump. Not a great start for this month of October, okay? But eventually, it will pump, guys. And understand, I do see Bitcoin reaching back up to at least over $70,000 at least for this month. Okay, so guys, all my Bitcoin holders out there, get ready for Bitcoin to reach back up to at least $70,000, even potentially breaking out and reaching a new all-time high. I think all that is very, very possible in the next upcoming few weeks. Trust me, guys, Bitcoin moves like crazy. It moves quick. Understand that. It moves very, very quick. Okay, so get ready for a huge pump guys okay because it is coming and overall we know bitcoin's going to be reaching a new high we know we are in fact about to see a massive parabolic movement coming for bitcoin we are in fact about to enter the next huge born that's coming up very very soon right as i told you guys we have to break um out of this resistance this descending channel we have to see a very, very clear breakout. Once we actually see a clear breakout from there, it's going to be history for Bitcoin and Bitcoin's going to skyrocket. And I told you guys, personally, my price prediction for Bitcoin is around 200K to 250 to even 300K and beyond, just like what this chart is in fact showing us right here. So understand, okay, all my Bitcoin holders out there watching this video right now, I truly do hope you guys have been stacking as much Bitcoins as you possibly can, simply DCAing, investing, and most importantly, holding right now and letting the gains come to you because a massive broad is coming, right? Uh, Q4 will be amazing for you know this year in 2024. And of course, throughout next year, 2025, will be epic as well. So get ready, guys, for the next bull market because we are literally right at the beginning of a bull run. So get ready for it, okay? But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. I just really wanted to come on here and just give you guys a little update what's been happening with Bitcoin and crypto. But today, altcoins are looking pretty good, much better, you know, when they where they were a couple of days ago. Same with Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, guys, get ready because history is repeating. Don't worry, okay? This October, yes, I get it. You know, not a great start, but I understand eventually, you know, the next week or so, it will get much, much better. So get ready for that. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. That is always appreciated. And I catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.